<laughs> Hello! People, my name is Kale Boss. Hmm? The only boss. <laughs> oh, wait, what is? Ah, have you heard? Wait, do you know that Tap Tap Send is live in Texas? Oh, you didn't know. We went to New York. Now we are live in Texas. So people in Texas and around, all you have to do is to download Tap Tap Send. Yes, Tap Tap Send has become the most unique, secure, and fast way of sending money across the world to your loved ones anywhere. Okay? So download Tap Tap Send on Google Play Store or App Store. And when you're in Texas or around, you just have to put in the code TXGH. What did I say? T X G H and you get ten dollars for your first transaction you make. But yeah, my hammer made it. Texas, you drew huh? Very soon we will conquer everywhere. <laughs> Download Top Top Send now on Google Play and App Store. Top Top Send, it's secure, convenient, easy, and fast. <laughs> Capstone E Global Consort Limited. Hey, you make we be a registered nurses, drivers, a homo GCC license, NFA securities. Hey, you make we be a who drove this to say Dubai, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, NFA USA. Na me ne wakasa CC akra. Homo per registered nurses. Hey, you make we USA. Akoya you make we just ka pudro. Anne. Na enya we po. Capstone E Global Consort Limited. Hey, Sanso Buama. Sao peka ato fria manoni. Homo ba ya hon shisha ya nyama. Na unse timiaka. Ka biara ya dawa kumaso wa bra wo mre ho e ji omo si bra omo so ye sesia wo be wo omo otama community na omo ni ashama timba market ene di hwe ni mu ana se fro omo e wo 0599183083 ana 0302986573 ama no ni fo so fro omo plus 8210218112278 capstone e global consort limited your success is our business Editorial number two is here, and I know this one is going to be an adult talk. So if you are not ready for the invectives, my brother, my sister, you can stay off for some minutes and later come back. Because this time around, we are going to be raw. We are going to be straight. We are going to be factual, and we're going to say it as we have to say it. This is the editorial branded plus 18 because the issue at stake is actually a plus 18 issue and we have to tackle it as such my name is Amit Flex if this is your first time let me sit upright so we can start talking we do the editorial here with my people digital rasta who is on camera he's also called Karen CG Flex is the editor director of the show and for information you can also be a part of it via the comment section with your comments as much as you also have an opinion you share it because whatever i'm doing here is a typical of me sharing an opinion so you can also do the same and nobody will have any qualms with you but remember that if you live abroad and you want to be sending money back home tap tap send should be your only option they have been tried and tested they are very efficient and they are very trustworthy as well so download the app, tap, tap, send on your phone, put in your bank details, use the promo code SAMIFLEX. With this, you get some extra money into your account. Now, straight to the issue. We are not going to spend much time, uh, maybe less than 15. We should be done with this. Now, I think whilst we were still consuming and soaking what we have here in Ghana between Sarkodie and Yvonne Nelson, and we were not done with it because... There are some people who have still not finished reading the book. There are some people who have still not consumed the song because the numbers are getting better each second. And same way, uh, this morning I saw an update from Yvonne Nelson telling the world that she was asked of, out of stock with a book and now there are more. She has even added more bookshops that you can get the book. So it means that we are not done even with sales of the book. The book is still selling. You can go get yours. You maybe you can also get it online, Amazon or Apple Books or something like that. Then you can go on. So whilst we think, okay, this is going to be a Ghana issue and we, we are consuming it in Ghana, we woke up at one day and our neighboring countries, just as we do, competing ourselves in every 
little thing. We saw the video also in the trends. We saw the video also with almost something similar to what Sarkodie is suffering now. The only difference is that Sarkodie has cleared any baby linkage to his issue. But in the case of the video, the babies are still in existence, according to what these ladies are talking about. So, two ladies involved here. One lady from America and one lady from France. These are the two ladies involved in the conversation. And both of them are saying the same thing. Unfortunately, they are all talking about being pregnant for the video. Unfortunately, they are all using the same formula, and that is where my confusion is. That is one of the points that I'm going to address heavily in this particular editorial. As to why they are using the same formula in addressing their issue, I still don't get it. It doesn't sit well with me. I'm confused about it. So one, let's start with the American lady because I've seen some videos about her that um, makes me feel like to even vomit. Like the video from her is so nauseating that I don't know how I feel. Like a lady of her age, as matured as she, she is, decides to do her pregnancy check and she decided to do it to the view of the whole world. Openly takes off her clothes, sits on a WC, pees in it, uses the pee test to take sample of her urine and shows it to the world for what exactly? Why did you not show the time you were having sex with the video to the world? So we will become witnesses to what you are telling us now. The time maybe you were sucking the video's dick. Why did you not video that? So we will see it. The time the video was coming into you, why did you not show it? So we see it. The time the video was giving you pam, 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 and you were making all the noise, moaning, enjoying it. Why did you not show it? But now, you are showing us that you are pregnant, and that one, you want everybody to see you. Of course, I, I know what you do. Your page on OnlyFans and all those things, yes, I understand uh, showing those things, they might not be a concern to you. But since you want us to be witnesses to the fact that you are pregnant, same way, you could have done your, yourself a, a good service by telling us or showing us when you were having the sex. Because that is the result now we, you, we want us to ascertain. The result you want us to uh, confirm or to approve with you, when you were doing it, you did it alone, you did it in private, but you want the results to be in the open. And that is not right, if you ask me. That is not right. That is definitely off, if you ask me. So, I'm asking myself that, why can't some people respect the space of celebrities after they've done their stuff with them? So, one, you met the guy. You knew him very well. As to how you got to know him, you know best. Through who and how, you know best. So, if for some reasons... After you guys had time, you are pregnant. Why are you not using the same process that you connected with him to solve this issue? These are respectable people. These are people of repute. These are people who have what it takes to take care of a baby and a mother. So what is this noise about social media? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm still not getting it. So you all think that the video can't accept your pregnancy if really and truly he is responsible. Is that what you, these ladies are trying to say? The video with his stature, with his background, with his wealth. And who says a Nigerian man is scared of babies? Like, not to say a Nigerian man per se. Like, who said a successful man is scared of babies? They don't really care like that. But I'm still wondering the approach. So when I thought it was only the American lady, who had done that open display of um, showing that she is pregnant to the world. My producer showed me another video of the lady in France also using the same formula. Also publicly showing her P test and showing to the world that she is pregnant. And so fucking what? And so fucking what? As, as, as it stands now. In this world, if you tell anybody that you are pregnant with a musician, you think it is big news? No, it is not. It is not at all. 
even I think even today's musicians are modernizing how they do their women thing. Today's musician, they are modernizing it. When I was growing up in Ghana, and there were concert groups, as in music bands. Okay, let me call them that, like that for those who don't understand the, uh, the a colloquial language we use here. As in, when we were growing up and there were music bands, traveling around districts and regions performing, the stories we heard was that in almost every region or in almost every town they go to, they had women there. Because sometimes when they hit their road, they stay out for about three months or four months or six months and they've not even gone back home because that is how they do it. They record their albums. When the albums are ready, they hit the road and it's performances from one region or to the other. I lived in Nkoko, one of the districts in uh, Eastern region, quote to be specific. And almost all the people who came there, when they come to town, they had all these ladies that they mentioned their name on stage. Sometimes they even mentioned them in their songs. Especially those who were selling food. Fufu, King K, and all those people. They come there and they are their girls. Because when they come, they would have to serve their band's men. And, of course, people saw it to be as part of their trade. That is why even today, 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 if you tell a modern day woman, a parent that you want to do music, that is what they remember. They see oh, those people, they were living that kind of life. I don't want my child or my world to live that kind of life. So uh, they are always like a dissecta when you tell your parents that you want to do entertainment related activities or music. But they think you are going to use the same lifestyle. You're going to lead the same lifestyle. So when I see adults, ladies, who knew exactly what they were going in for? If you are above 20 years and you are going to have sex with any of these celebrities, you decided to do raw sex, and today you are crying over pregnancy, you are not smart. Like, you are not even thinking straight. You had raw sex. You knew what to do. You didn't do it, and today you are crying and showing the world. So what should we do? Like, what should we do to the American girl? Eh? Only fans' images are all over. Unfortunately, because of YouTube, we can't show you some of them. So you, you, know, you even know your profession. You know your profession. You know your trade. I hear now you have stopped and all those things, but you know it. Pictures are still there. People have receipts. People are fantasizing about your pictures, your videos, and all. So I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. In wrapping up, I also want to advise our people sometimes. And when I say our people, I'm talking about the people in the creative space, the celebrities. I want to advise them a little bit. Guys, sometimes let's be a little selective in what we do. Yes, we understand your fame. We understand your popularity can get you everything in skirts. We understand. But sometimes be a little selective. Sometimes look beyond the skirts and think about your brand. Sometimes it helps. Because you see what is happening. As much as they are not very strange to the world as much as they are not very new to us. Same way, there are some people that you're going to lose respect for. There are some people who will see this as not welcomed. There are some people who will see it as something that is not right. There are some people who will see you as immoral, no matter what you do after. So I think we have to be a little selective. We have to be a little um, chaos in our ways of things. Uh, if you think you will not do it, at least find your wife or your... I'm sure it helps. It takes you away from all this mess in future. You think you cannot go to France, you cannot go to America, you cannot go to UK and be alone. It is either your wife, your girlfriend or your mistress is playing that role for you. It sorts you out. I'm sure it's one of the reasons, maybe, in quotes, maybe, it's one of the reasons why now, everywhere Stoneboy goes, his wife follows. Maybe. Because, of course, his body don't be firewood. He's not saint. He goes to some of these places. Women are over him all over. He will sleep. And everybody who does this mind kind of work, sometimes after stress, you need sex. No two ways about that. I said this edition is going to be 18 plus. 
everybody who does this creative kind of space kind of work. Sometimes after going through the rigorous exercising, performing, writing songs, recording, meetings here and there, after that, one of the best remedies you need is a good sex. And that is where the problem is. So because you are desperate for sex, everything is scared that they throw at you. You accept it. Sometimes I see some of them and I cringe. Yes. I've been to places of some of these celebrities and I see how they do it and I cringe. As a matter of fact, sometimes it puts the fear of God in me because before I see this one is coming, this one is coming, this one is coming. And no, you are not saved, my brother. You are not saved because you don't know who is coming. You don't know the intention. You don't know what kind of in, uh, intent the person is coming to you with. You might think she's only coming for sex. No, some people might come for more than sex. Some, someone might even drag you to death. I mean, someone can come and poison you. Because at that time, you are very loose. Let's all be specific. At that time that you are with a woman in that atmosphere, you are loose. When she brings something, oh, take wine. You, you not look at it twice. You take wine. Because you are hard on. You want to enter somewhere. You take it, grand, 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 grand. Before you know, she has poison in her nails. You are gone. Like someone will finish you. Unfortunately, that's the kind of lifestyle people live. Many of us in this space, that's the kind of lifestyle we live. And this is not safe. And in recent happenings, from Ghana to Nigeria and elsewhere, I don't know if this will be enough caution to you and I, but we all have to be cautious. We are not safe like that. Like I'm saying, this will not come straight to someone like Davido. It will not kill him. It will not hurt him in any way. If there is someone who might be affected, it will be maybe his wife, Chioma, who might be affected in a way. But apart from that, with him, what else? Even if at the end of the day, he goes through DNA tests and it confirms that he is going to father these ones, do you, do you think some, something will happen to him? No, he, nothing will happen to him. To have a child, it is not bad. It is not. But I'm asking that, can these ladies be a little circumspect and to be responsible in their act you 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 had an affair with the video to you i'm sure it brightens your cv like to that lady it brightens your cv that oh you had that thing with the video you have his contact you guys has changed blah 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 now here she, he the video has even unfollowed the french lady yes that's what i'm hearing that he has unfollowed her and all that well a word to the wise is enough i don't intend to say much here if you are closer to any of these guys, next time you go somewhere and you think they would need it, find an appropriate person. Find a responsible person because the future is unknown. If you want that person alive, you want him well, make sure where he removes his pants is the right place. Who he removes his pants for is the right person. So in the near future, we don't encounter some of these things. I came in peace. But for the video... Um, he said he's unavailable, according to responses that he's given to these people on his um, Instagram story. He said he's unavailable. So whatever you guys want to say, say it. Whatever you guys want to do, do it. To him, he's unavailable. Let's do what is right at times so we don't encounter some of these negative responses. It hurts me at the time that he is on his album promotion. He performed at the BETs and right after... This is what is happening around him. Well, he, he can handle it. He's a man. And I know he can handle it. Until then, be safe. Be responsible. Know who you do it with. Because the future is uncertain. We are out of here.